<laughs> missing all these all these amazing Pokemon are magic. We're here. Pokemon are magic. Pokemon we're, are magic. We're back with volume three. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Wait, a... who's gonna be the uh, narrator now? Oh. Nubs for narration. It's your turn. Oh no. Narration for fun. <laughs> <laughs> My turn, I suppose. <laughs> Pokemon Adventures. Okay. Pokemon Adventures. Good old ball Pikachu. Oh, he's so round. <laughs> he's so round. <laughs> he's the roundest. Journey thus far. Dun, dun, dun. Got red, blue, and green. We got the trio. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> We've met all eight of the gym leaders. This, this, we have this might be this might be it <laughs> like, they don't remember who's who like, viridian city girl who's that <laughs> that's you two uh, that's you that or the gym you. leader right oh, oh wait, no 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 i'm uh i'm giovanni i think right am i giovanni erica yes that sounds familiar i know it's sabrina because it's kind of hard to forget <laughs> that when we just yeah. did it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Laurel was Koga, yeah, Koga Lieutenant, Lieutenant Surge, and Surge, Erica. Erica. Yes. Also, maybe and Violet Brock. Is, Violet's Brock. I was Misty, Brock. Blaine, and Giovanni. Boom. And then Sabrina. I was Giovanni, right? I feel yeah. like I think so. Mm hmm. I can't remember. Yes, that was the one chapter where he pretended to be a doddering old fool. Oh, crap. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Yeah, I can't remember if I gave <laughs> Lieutenant Surge also a Valley Girl voice, because I know I gave that to uh, other guy. Koga. I feel like you might have. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's, you might, probably. Who I knows? know Koga was definitely Valley Girl, and yeah, Lieutenant yeah. Surge might have been yeah. too. <laughs> There's Squirtle and Green. Meridian, Meridian, <gasps> Green, my beloved. <laughs> You're always kicking us right into it. Here we go. I miss Blue, guys. <laughs> well, there he <laughs> He's is. He's right there. <laughs> he talks. <gasps> <laughs> He's here. All right. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Team Rocket is in Saffron City, which means... Like I said, it's time for the final showdown between us and them. 28. Piece of mime? But what about the the Pokemon that I gave to Professor Oak? Using Bill's transporter. <gasps> My Pokemon. Oh, Eevee is g gone. Oof. <laughs> but the Pokemon that I sent over haven't been touched. If you ask me, Red, you're the reason they attacked this place. Mm. So they don't care about you at all. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to be everyone's protector. Huh? What? Ah. Wah. Listen up, Red. Uh. I'm going to deal with Team Rocket, okay? You stay out of this. Wah, wah, wah. I really don't care if Team Rocket wants to buy, sell, or experiment on Pokemon. Then you're the one who better stay out of it. You don't even care. <laughs> Do you know why my grandfather built his research center in Palatown? Out here in the middle of nowhere. Mm. The day you and I met, Mew, the rarest of all Pokemon, was sighted here. Take a guess why. Mm. Yeah, I figured that would be a bit beyond your mental capacity. Well, consider this. This is the one place on Earth where Pokemon aren't threatened by pollution. A palette is the blank surface an, art mi an artist mixes paint on. Pallet Town was pristine until they came. And it's my town. Whoever kidnapped my grandfather and defiled this place answers to me. So you stay out of this. Blue! Uh... Ivy? Uh, who is he to tell me to stay out of this? Pallet Town is my hometown too! Boom! Aerodactyl! Go away. <laughs> Saffron City. West Entrance. 
The strength of the barrier is the same as before, but the barrier is so huge. If a single Pokemon was projecting this entire thing, I bet there's a weak spot. Like at the very center? Go! Hyper Beam! <laughs> Not even a dent! Blue said there was no way through this thing. Was he right? I'd hate it if he was. Wait, wait, wait! So it's solid all around the bottom, but what about the top? Hmm. Let's go, Aerodactyl! Up! Huh? Hey, quit copying me! Ah, who's copying who? Uh, uh, oh, those two. Hm, figures they know each other. Who is that? Um, I don't know. I guess it's blue. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Top, bottom, center. Doesn't make any difference. Hmm? So there's no way to break through this thing physically. But not everything is physical. Golduck, search the inside with confusion power. Golduck. Scan it from the outside. Find the location of the trainer and the Pokemon producing the barrier. If I channel Golduck's thoughts to appear visually in the Pokédex. Is that me? Is it Team Rocket? I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's him? I think it's Blue. Okay. Mr. Mime! So this is what they call the light screen. They're in front of the central building. Now at least I know who and where the enemy is. Uh, that stupid blue figured something out. I know he did. I hate it. I hate it! Whoa! <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> Pikachu! Substitute! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! This barrier is nothing to Pikachu's energy clone! Take that, blue boy! Pika! Hmm. Now they've born ya, girls! <laughs> Pika! You're right. Huh. Not for Million City. Okay, we're in! But where's the enemy? Okay, now I know where the enemy is. Now what? Oh, brilliant! Huh? Together you can win! Separately you can just keep score. What do you think this is, a video game? Y yes Ugh. Hmm. It so happens, Red, that I can tell you our foe's exact position. Duh, we can't even get in. But Pikachu and I can fight him. Oh. Golduck. Go. See? Golduck will transmit the sensory waves waves reading to Pikachu. Ha! <laughs> Leave the rest to us, Blue. Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime. One foe's on the move. Tell Pikachu. Go. Go. Pika. Pika. But Mr. Mime is disappearing. Bulldog, keep at it. Go. P. Now! Thunderbolt! Shoo! Wah. 
Hmm. Mr. Mime. <sighs> hey. I think we killed him. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> we did it. The barrier's gone. Hey, hey, wait up. They do all the work, and I get what I'm after. Ooh, I'm good. Hey, Blue, hold it. I didn't help you so you could make this your show. Wait, is that me or you? I think that's you. Where's the guy I gotta fight? Where? Silf Company Headquarters. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Hmm. Bet he has a Valley Girl accent. <laughs> Woo. One chapter down. I forgot to say, buy the manga to read along with us, audience. Support the... Official, official release. <laughs> <laughs> Blue, where are you going? <sighs> Whoa. This building's pretty fancy. You sure this yeah. is... <laughs> you said it. You sure this is Team Rocket's headquarters? When Golduck first found Mr. Mime, this is where they were. It's a central location. With the major road on all four sides. Yeah! Red! Red! Blue! What an idiot. <laughs> I'll give you one point for breaking the barrier, but that's all. Hey, thanks, I guess. 29. Go for the gold bat. Scyther! Slash! Scyther! <laughs> <laughs> You're quick. Ugh. You're a clever one for choosing an attack before you've even appraised your enemy. <laughs> On your shoulder. Oh, wait. Is that me or I don't you? know who says that, Teehee. <laughs> I think that's red. I mean, blue. Oh. <laughs> one of the two. How dare you not get our names right? <laughs> On your shoulder. A Grimer. I'm like, sorry, but like, this looks so similar. <laughs> I hate this guy. You're the one from the Pokemon Tower in Lavender City. Rhymer. Weird thing. N no! <laughs> Last time I was careless. This time I won't let you get to your Pokeballs. <sighs> and without his Pokemon, a Pokemon trainer is just a kid. Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, Ugh. your accent hurts. Ugh, I hate valley people. Uh... You okay, Pikachu? Uh, what the? Pika? Yeah. Where am I? Am I back on the first floor? Mm. No. I don't think we've been here before. <laughs> Yow! What? What's with this wall? These walls—they're electrified, and. Seems like I felt this exact same shock somewhere before. Huh. Yeah! Voltorb electrode. D Owie! Ah, th that's it! The Pokemon smuggler in Vermilion City! The bad guy was a gym leader who used electric Pokemon! To me, Brissas, it was me. Lieutenant Surge, one of the third of command and triads of Team Rocket. Oh. You certainly managed to complicate things for me back then. <laughs> A gym leader on Team Rocket's side? That's never happened. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely never happened before. This time, I won't give you a break. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah! You might find this even more shocking. The electricity in this room will double, even triple the powers of my Pokemon. 
It'll be electrifying battle. <laughs> but, but, but why? Why would a gym leader be allies with Team Rocket? Mm hmm. A gym leader? Oh, yes. There was a time when I did something like that. I took on the role of leader quite seriously, with dignity rules, training, proper Pokemon battles. And what did that gain me? What? It was a pretense of power, but only real power lets me take whatever I want. Mm. Electrodes are quick but lack strength. This lock sure heightens their power and increases their speed. Besides, the magneton on both shoulders produces a sonic boom that acts as a defense barrier. And it's all thanks to Team Rocket's technology. Pikachu, ready? E. Now! Pikachu! Yeah! <laughs> so much for Team Rocket. Electricity beats the electric guy. Just kidding. Who? <laughs> Me? Magnemite. Do you think I'd enter, enter an electric trap without putting on my insulated underwear first? You're on my <laughs> turf, boy. You should expect the unexpected. <laughs> Everything on this... Or, wait, who is that? Oh, wait. It might be Lieutenant Surge narrating for... And it's just showing both scenes. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Everything in this building is devised to ar augment our power. By now, your little friend has it even worse, no doubt. Hmm. Now, fire! Waga! I... I don't get it. He's attacking at full strength from the start. Why don't they run out of power? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Do you want to know why their attacks and my armor are infinite reserves, reservoirs of power? Do you really? Then dig that knowledge to your grave, the source of all this power. <laughs> Is the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? Yeah. Ah, uh, it it can't be. We captured it at the abandoned power plant, and the legends proved to be true. Thanks to Zapdos, my Pokemon and I will it be eternally powerful. <laughs> Electabuzz. Now, ask me if I want to go back to being a gym leader. <laughs> Kazak. There, that's what's happening on the first floor. Red. <laughs> Do you really think you have the luxury to be worrying about your friend? Uh. It's no use. Now, it'd be easy to simply destroy you, but I have something to ask of you. I'll let you breathe just enough. <laughs> I understand you're Professor Oak's grandson. <sighs> We've been asking the professor for his assistance, but he doesn't seem to want to cooperate. Terrible, isn't it? Now... How do you think we might be able to change his mind? Hmm. Do you suppose if he sees his grandson suffer? <laughs> it's your choice. Help us with dear old granddad or perish. Well. Scyther. <laughs> No! To both! Uh? Scyther! Sai! I'm too pretty to die. You fool! If you want to be squashed that badly. And be gone already! Razor wind! Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Uh. Uh, Grandpa. <laughs> uh. Stubbornness runs in the family. Ah! Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness. What a cliff. Violence. Violence. <laughs> People are getting stabbed, cut up. <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> Meanwhile. What is la that? la la. <laughs> this place is huge. Team Rocket must be making some real lettuce. <laughs> Amazing how far you can get just by slipping through the back door. Now there's nothing between me and my target. 3F. Gong. Huh? Ugh, what was that? Well, doesn't matter. I'm here. Uh, what was that? 30. <laughs> Zap, zap, zapdos. Oh, wait a minute. I thought it was indoors. Kaka, the host club is here. Kaka. <laughs> <sighs> the host club. Through the power of psychic type Pokemon, you must endure. <laughs> Your most terrible, most secret fears. Well, la dee da! Blastoise, attack! Blastoise! Hm. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Hypnosis and teleport? A master of psychic Pokemon! And one third of the command triad of Team Rocket. I created the light screen around Saffron City. Call me Sabrina. Now, Kadabra and I are going to treat you to the wonders of 3F. Kadabra. Psychic. Huh. Mm. Huh? Boop, 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 boop. My Pokeballs. <laughs> You're so clever at fooling little, little, silly boys. Kadabra. Eliminate that Blastoise. Kada! Blastoise. Gas. Scared as you are, I imagine you led with your strongest Pokemon. So if this one falls, you're pretty well done for, aren't you? <laughs> Kadabra. Ka Disable. B blast. Blastoise! <laughs> no! <laughs> Do you get it now? This it is what it means to oppose Team Rocket. You're the one... <sighs> ...who's gonna get it! <laughs> Blastoise! Will the real Blastoise please stand up? Mega punch! Blah. So, so, what was the other? Uh, ditto! I can fool more than silly boys. Horsey! Horsey! Smokescreen! <laughs> I can play head games too, sweetie. How do you like being blind? Uh, where is she? Especially when you know that I can see you clearly. <sighs> You're turning all red. Better watch your blood pressure. Uh, where is she? <clears throat> now, let's get this over with. First floor. Voltage. I blast only you can feel it. <laughs> Try the jolt of this. Yeah. Pikachu. <sighs> Gotta do something. Ivy sword. Ivy. It's hopeless. Zapdos! Thunder shock! 
Just slimy. Uh, no. Ivy. The Ivy sore. Adam's come early for Ivy sore this year. <laughs> uh, don't lose it. Ivy. Fight back. Ivy. It's hopeless. I'm telling you. I suppose a stubborn boy like you needs more decisive blow. Zapdos, maximum energy! <coughs> Goodbye. Thunder. Uh, attack! Just what we've been waiting for! Ivysaur! Ivy! <laughs> Ha! <laughs> the cords are cut! Now all of Zapdos' energy will go straight into your body! <laughs> will it now? <laughs> you little fool! As, I'm, as long as I'm wearing this underwear, I can't be touched! Hmm? What? <laughs> My suit! <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy Sword's razor leaf wasn't just cutting the cords. Phew. Just what I was thinking, Ivy. Ivy. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Found it. The Thunder Badge. Hmm. I guess I'll take these, too. Hmm. Remember, no matter, how, <laughs> no matter how many Pokemon you've got, or how powerful they are, nothing's more powerful than true friendship between a trainer and his or her Pokemon! <laughs> hmm. Come on. Let's go. We <laughs> gotta... I hope Blue's okay. <laughs> Blue! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Let's like end this. Go back. Go back, attack! Go! Ah, no! Go! I'm already dead. <laughs> The only one who You're didn't like win. You're like too late. <laughs> what is with that ad? <laughs> <laughs> Polyrath. <laughs> Boom. Poly. Attack. Uh, what? Rah. <laughs> Another victim. Boom. Ha. Huh? Ag. Poly. <laughs> Grime. I do so hate to be interrupted. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> if you're here, he you must have defeated else, Lieutenant Surge. I better not underestimate you, eh? Thirty-one. The art of Articuno. Well then, I won't. As soon as you watch me destroy your friend here. <laughs> Blue, wake up! You gotta. No yes. You see, he just took the brunt of the razor wind. Now all that's left is to remove his head. Fling. So ah. no head. Yeah. Say bye bye. I don't want to die like this. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, like. What? Good job, Pidgeot. <laughs> no one could take a razor wind to the heart and still move, huh? How, How about someone who's wearing a pendant with reflective power? What? My grandfather, Professor Oak, gave it to me. <sighs> <laughs> I knew if I played possum long enough, you'd call off your grimer. You think you're clever, huh, eh? Yeah, I do. Then meet Articuno! Blizzard! And 
enjoy your little victories, boys. They won't last long. Now back off, or this one loses his head. <sighs> you say your name's Red? <laughs> and then you'll remember how when you captured the legendary Anakuno from the Seafoam Island. Uh. It wasn't easy. We even thought we'd lost it for a moment. But then Team Rocket got what it wanted. <laughs> and it's all thanks to you. Wh what? While fighting to protect you and your friends, the Articuno was forced to expend an enormous amount of energy. And that was the only thing that made it possible for us to defeat it. Ugh. Articuno. Arr. In case you didn't know, the world, this is what they call irony. The same Articuno you saved then will destroy you now. Articuno, blow him away. Ice babe. <sighs> Freeze, boy. Mm. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Red. It doesn't make sense. This guy's controlling Articuno too easily. Thanks to the power of Team Rocket. <laughs> Wait, that's... The Soul Badge? So you finally noticed, did you? You both seem to have forgotten that these trainer badges are more than mere souvenirs of battles. Hmm? Uh each contains a form of energy that heightens a Pokemon's power and empowers the badge holder to control any Pokemon. This happens to this Articuno happens to be under the power of four badges, held by the Team Rocket Triad and our exalted leader. <laughs> we can make any Pokemon jump to fulfill our every command. That's why we threw away our status as independent gym leaders. This is true power. <laughs> My feet! Red! Now you get it. Your turn. Ah, blue, run! There's nowhere to run to. <laughs> the wall! No! Checkmate. Full power. Freeze the room! <laughs> Two ice trainers coming up. Foolish brats. I could have used you as underlings. If only you'd known when to admit defeat. Well, no need to overdo things and freeze the whole room. I need to admit it. They sure make me work up a sweat. My clothes are gonna be ruined now. Uh huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, you were like uh, frozen! Let it go! Charizard! Red! Let's do it! Yeah! Sure. Try, Try attack! attack. Thunder shock. Yeah. He screams like a girl. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I release Charizard when the hole in the wall opens. I figured if you were going to freeze the room on the inside, I'd just have to roast it from the outside. You just weren't thinking on a grand enough scale. Maybe you don't think at all. <gasps> the soul badge. Blue. If you say comments like a girl, you're going to get canceled. Hey, Blue. You didn't have what? to flame the whole building. That was hot. Be that. Hank uh, mm. can't take it, hmm? Ugh. Uh, hey. Golduck. Go. Hmm? Uh, it's no use. I'm... Trying to see if the monitor will show what Golduck is picking up mentally, but some strange psychic pulse seems to be b blocking it. Mm. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find Grandfather with this. Okay, Golbat, 
Show me. Where is Professor Oak being held? Whoa. Uh, Grandpa! The, that looks like the basement. <laughs> huh? That sounded like a girl. Green. Now I'm saying oh. it. I thought it was Koga. Never mind. Red, <laughs> take this. Huh? Remember what Koga said. Use it. I'm like dead. <laughs> Good. I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. Hmm. All right. See ya. See ya. Never. Hopefully. Huh. I forgot the our whole next time on Pokemon thing. <laughs> I just oh, remembered. Oops. <laughs> oops do we next want time to on Pokemon Adventure ch Chapter 32. <laughs> Will Blue be able to save Professor Oak? Will I Will... have any characters left to voice? <laughs> yeah, Will really. we remember to do this again? <laughs> Find out all this and more next time. On Pokemon Adventures Chapter 32. 32. That is <laughs> like, I don't know who says that part now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Find out next week, audience. Next week is in right now. <laughs> hmm. A Team Rocket leader is not to be taken lightly. 32. A little cadaver will do it. Get it now? Uh, uh, how can you see? It's pitch dark! When I was little. Uh, not this again. A yapper. The spoon I ate strained my strained peas with suddenly bent. From that day on, I have been a psychic warrior. Not only a trainer of psychic Pokemon, but a psychic in her own right. A smug screen like this is nothing to me. Understand? What I cannot see with my eyes, I see with my mind's eye. Hiya! <laughs> Psychic! Horsey smoke screen! Disable. What? No! Can't move. <laughs> Welcome to the big leagues, dearest. Yours will be a short career. <clears throat> oh, y you're a good fighter, all right. But then, I guess fighting's all you care about. Judging by your flyaway hair and tacky outfit, you aren't cute and stylish like me. Cheap shots, eh? Kadabra, attack! <laughs> gotcha! Lost my focus when she dissed me! Clefairy, Jigglypuff! <laughs> Laurel, do you want to voice those? <laughs> Clefairy, Jigglypuff! I have to get free of this hallucination. Clefairy, growl! Jigglypuff, sing! Ugh. This hideous sound wave prevents me from locating her. And the hallucination goes poof! Ugh. No! I don't stand a chance against her psychic powers. And my Pokemon are totally outclassed. All I can do is escape. Wait a minute! Long as I'm here... Ugh. It's mine now. Bye-bye! Yeesh! Is this place a maze or something? Uh, Pikachu, you have the map, right? Pika? Uh... Suddenly, I'm a lot farther up than I thought, but still no sign of green. Huh? Where am I? Me? And what's this? We sure pretty heavy, that's for sure. Mm. 
Hmm. Don't, like, find them? No. Oh. They not only defeated Surge, but Koka too. What? Well, that isn't bad enough. They set the building on fire. Oh my god. Uh, we've got to find those brats fast. Uh, I we know, right? Wait for the room with the Pokemon badge energy amplifier. I'm glad we're saying this out loud in case anyone's listening. Haha. -ha. I know. Hope they'll use it for like plot or something. I don't know. No, right. God. Uh, Pokemon badge energy amplifier? This thing must be it. What are you two doing? Uh. <laughs> Did an ugly girl just run by? N no, ma'am. <laughs> you look really pretty today. <laughs> hmm. You're relieved of duty. Go below. Yes, Sabrina. Hmm? Hey! That's... Oh, that's the one who attacked the research center! Hmm, how'd you know? Uh, and she's coming in! Hmm? Uh, is she looking for this? Uh-oh. These indentations. They're in the shapes of Pokemon trainer badges. Do the badges fit in them? Is this the machine that Koga used? Hmm, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of the badges with me. Right, Pikachu? That, that's six. Hmm, Pika? Uh, I only need one more badge to fill in all seven slots. <laughs> oh. I dropped it. Hmm, who's there? Eep! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, the best defense is a good offense. In other words, Pikachu. Pika. <laughs> Pikachu, what's wrong? No cute. Pikachu knows I'm not really an enemy. Pika. Oh, you found the device. I see. No, Pikachu, don't be tricked by your Riz. Pika. Her Riz. <laughs> Something wrong, Red? <laughs> oh. oh, come on! Surely you remember that I'm a master of disguise. At least Pikachu knew it was me. Pika! G green You could use a little more work. Ooh, you finally figured it out. R right. Basement level one. That's what the display said, but... Ugh! What is that figure? Uh, Grandpa! B blue Are you hurt? F forget about me! You've got to help the people of the town first! Blow us! In basement level two, there's a huge Pokemon training ground! All the people who were taken from the town are there. The people of Pallet Town have an innate empathy for the feelings of Pokemon. They were trying to use that p power to. G Grandpa? Ugh. I'm hurt. Worse than I thought. They wanted me to replace. A scientist who escaped from them. A scientist who was working on a terrible experiment. Hey, Red, take a gander at this. The Marsh Badge. I just stole it off that psychic girl. Tee <laughs> ah, Give me that, Green. Give it to you? For free? Oh, please. You know me better than that. Come on. But I'll do a trade. Because I'm such a sweetheart. I'll give you this badge for your Moonstone. What? Hmm? The Moonstone. Don't pretend you don't have it. Uh... Oh, is that me? Saying, I don't know. Do you think? I don't know. 
I've got to have that stone. In case I ever meet up with Sabrina again. Come on, Green. We don't have to haggle. If we join forces and fight together... Hmm... Wise up, Red. We came here for different reasons, but this trade will help both of us get what we want. Mm. Just trust me and do as I say. Did you just say... trust you? Hmm. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Trade completed. Mm. Guess I can't complain. <laughs> Everything's going exactly according to plan. Hey, Red, to be fair, I should tell you... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that device is their secret weapon. When all seven badges are inserted, it generates an energy that amplifies a Pokemon's power big time. <laughs> Thanks for the info. Well, actually, the real truth is that it creates a new Pokemon. And the only reason I collected all these badges and sneaked into this building was to get my hands on that new Pokemon. Hmm. Huh? Who is that? Oh. <laughs> all the more reason to eliminate you. What if I needed more of a reason? Huh? You little brats. I've had enough that you made a fool of me. The, uh... Real, Sabrina? Mm -hmm. Hand over that device! Green, this is dangerous! Stay back! Okay! You want this, huh? Well, I'll give it to you! Here goes number seven, and... Boom. All right, here we go! Pikachu! Pika! Pika! Uh... Green, what's... What's going on? Is it over? <laughs> uh, if you won't attack, I will. Psybeam. Very <laughs> ah! red. Huh? Wh what? What? You thought the badges I returned to you way back were when were real? Like I said, you should know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the rest of you! Hey! G green I don't want to talk to myself. Duh, why, you little... <laughs> Infighting. What amateurs. Come forth. Moltres! Moltres. Kadabra, bring forth Articuno and Zapdos. Grrrr. <laughs> <laughs> It should be far enough. Nobody will catch up to me now. Okay then, get rid of these fakes and... Now all seven are together. It's working! At last! The new Pokemon is m What? N no, it's flying away! Uh. Huh? W what the... Finally, it's here. Next time. Next time on Pokemon Adventures. Is Green the real main villain? He's Will the new baby. Pokemon be cute? <laughs> Will they stop fighting amongst each other? Please? Among us? <laughs> find, among us? Find out all this and more next time. Pokemon Adventures? Chapter 33. <laughs> green green has really screwed us over. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. Those kids are just kids. There's oh, those are kids. Spreading from the main building. We have to get out of here. <laughs> but it's kinda cozy. It's Brock. <laughs> what voice did I give him? Oh crap. <laughs> I don't remember. My apologies, but you're not going anywhere. Huh? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Onyx. Onyx. Oh. oh. You fought me in this Onyx once, Red. Now it's time for us to fight together. Onyx. You should like right here. 
I don't think I will. The southern gate is sealed. This is Missy. I've got the northern gate. Erica, western gate secured too. My townsfolk from Celadon City have surrounded the eastern gate. Hmm. Who's that? Uh, oh, Erica? Oh, I guess oh, Erica. Erica. <laughs> She's still yapping. <laughs> oh, God. Saffron City is surrounded, and our allies, Red and Blue, must have penetrated Silph Company's central headquarters by now. I don't know if this is what I usually sound like, but it is now. <laughs> our unknowing allies, I should say. We kept this plan secret from them to make sure Team Rocket wouldn't discover it. Good luck, Red. Ooh, it's me, the mythical Garfius. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. 33, the winged legends. Garfius. <laughs> yes. What's that? Gorpheus? Thanks to the power aura generated by this device, these three bird Pokemon have produced a single legendary Pokemon, Gorpheus. Uh huh. What? D what is that? Green. Uh. Fire spin, thunder, blizzard. Jack. Oh wait, the three of them just fused together into like. Oh my god! Like it's blue, just like Persona. Blue eyes, ultimate it's dragon. It's the blue eyes. Oh my god. All three of them fuse. <laughs> ah, the wall! This is Team Rocket's greatest scientific achievement. A simultaneous strike with the power of three Pokemon at once. Uh, Eevee! You mean? Yes, we experimented on your precious Eevee for the same end. The legendary prototype, you might say. After you transported the little thing to the research center, we took it back for a few final experiments. But now, we have no use for Eevee anymore. You creeps! That's the fate of all lab creatures. Yeah, You can't stop me! Blimey! Haven't you learned yet? No! It's no use! Oh, how I've longed for this power. Volcano, boulder, marsh, thunder, rainbow, cascade, soul. The powers of all the gym leaders. We've long known that we needed all the badges to combine Pokemon powers. But taking the badges from experienced gym leaders was no easy task. Several times we tried force. To no avail. Uh. So, we decided to wait for you and your friend Blue to collect them for us. We could have easily destroyed you both. Or we could have destroyed you both easily any time we wanted to. But you still had a job to do for us. Uh. Now, I'd like to thank you for your cooperation and tell you goodbye. Uh. We're taking over your beloved Pallet Town. We'll make good use of its unspoiled land and its people with a strange empathy for Pokemon. At last, this place will serve a useful purpose. Good. <sighs> this is the one place on Earth where Pokemon aren't threatened by pollution. Pallet Town was pristine until they came. This town is ours, and we're not letting you mess it up, Pikachu! Pika! That's telling her, Red. Huh? We're going down fighting. Blue! I've rescued my grandfather and the townspeople. All that's left is to defeat this freak. Who are you calling a freak? What impertinence. Ah. Hm. You're charming boys, blue and red. I'm sure you would have grown to be very handsome men. Perhaps even as, charismat as charismatic as Giovanni? Well, I guess we'll never know. Gust! Yeah! 
<laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell Giovanni about this. We're never going to win like this. Got to find a way to escape. Quick. Uh, think. Think. Oh, the moon. Green really wanted this moonstone. She must have been planning to use it for something. Okay. I'll take a chance. <sighs> Blue's still bearing the brunt of the attack. Now's my chance. Mm, if I can find a way to use this on Green's Pokemon, maybe. Mm, uh, Clefable. Clefable. What? Quick attack! <laughs> now! Comet Punch! Fury Attack! Hyper Beam! Muda Muda them! That's not legal! <laughs> Metronome is a special attack that releases other attacks at random. And now that Clefairy's evolved into, to, into Clefable, it's super powerful. <laughs> We've got an escape route now. Next. Oh, no, you don't. Sky attack. Meow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Not even they can survive a fall like that. Hmm. Do I feel a chill? <laughs> uh, that web! Ivysaur's vine? Uh, sky attack again! Get them! What? Incoming! Green! Who else? Blastoise! Who's that? Um, I don't know. Green? <laughs> We've got some attacks up our sleeve, too. Three of them, specifically. Blastoise. Sure. <laughs> Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, attack! Vine Whip! Uh, flamethrower, Hydro Pump! Attack! Ivy! Venusaur! Venusaur! Charmander! The building's gonna collapse! Hurry! Blood stories! Char! What? No way! Yes! Uh, hmm. Giovanni! <laughs> Moltres! Zapdos! They're free! Oh. Yeah! Articuno, too! The, the building's coming down! Move it, Red. Huh? Hehehe. <laughs> oh, isn't that... No. <laughs> Thank goodness everyone is safe and sound. No one slipped through our barricade. The three leaders and their boss are all beneath that collapsed building. We retrieved all the Pokemon they were using. With proper training, they'll all become wonderful Pokemon. Huh? Where's Green? Mm. <laughs> I never dreamed Team Rocket's new Pokemon would be such a beast! Sheesh! So much for my big plans. Uh, what's he doing here? Red, I'm looking forward to meeting you at the Indigo Plateau. Hmm? Blue? Don't get the wrong idea, Baka. 
next time on Pokemon Adventures. Red and blue, my favorite ship dynamic. <laughs> Will it be canon? <laughs> Will Giovanni show up again? Yeah, don't do that. Uh, will Green ever get punished for her crimes? Find like out all twenty of them. <laughs> Find out all this and more next time on Pokemon, Pokemon Adventures, Chapter Thirty Four. Be there. Or else. Or be square. square. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. What? What is that? E yeah. D don't let it escape. Thirty. Y'all let it escape. <laughs> and Mewtwo too. Oh. It. It. Was just a dream. Nay. <laughs> that ponyta. <laughs> uh, I think it's a rapid it. Rapidish. Mm -hmm. Rapidish. <laughs> but the evolved form of Ponyta, you know what you're doing. Well. So close. Hmm. Cerulean City. Northwest Sector. Nay. <laughs> the Beast of Cerulean City? That sounds made up. I guess oh no, is that Bill? Who is that? Is that Bill? Oh my god. Oh, it is. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Yeehaw. Based is right. Ain't nothing but devastation out yonder. The northwest sector is just northwest of barbecue now. Uh, are you sure it's a Pokemon? <laughs> it ain't sure or nothing. Whatever it was, Deep Fried Town slipped into the Cerulean Caves and it's most likely hiding there now. Oh my gosh, this is the end of. This is the post game. No elite hey, form. Red. Don't don't bring up the fourth wall right now. Oh yeah. Just cause you beat him, Team Rocket. Don't go getting uppity to try and catch that thing. You hear? Uh, this is the secret dungeon. <laughs> Too late, Bill. <laughs> I'm already here. Dag nabbit. <laughs> she. When I heard Beast, I figured it must be some powerful Pokemon. But. I didn't expect this. It's like the whole place was trampled by some kind of, well, beast. A white body, pointy ears, purple eyes. What is it? Uh, that's funny. This area doesn't look burned or crushed. More like it was twisted somehow. Huh? So, this is the cave Bill was talking about. Weird that I skipped the Elite Four. What? What's wrong with all of you? Snorlax? Oh, I'm uh. uh oh. A tornado? No, something weird is going on. It, it's coming from that cave? Aerodactyl! Help! Everybody! Gyarados! Eee! Vika! Snore! Vika! Snore! Oh, shoot! I gotta get everybody except Aerodactyl into their Pokeballs! Huh? They're gone! Were they blown away? Yeah, if this keeps on, we're gonna get sucked into that twister again. C come on. D oh no. Help! Huh? Blaine? This is no time to panic. Huh? Quick, empty Pokeballs. Rah! Boom. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> yes! Phew. Well, well, well. Looks like it was my time to save you, Red. Oh, 
explain? That this twister, is it coming from the monster of Cerulean City? That's right, Red. Um, it's coming back. Shouldn't we, uh... You can leave if you like. But I've got to defeat the thing that's forming it. There's no other way. This is no ordinary tornado. Fire spin! Ack! It's... it's bouncing back! Ack! <sighs> Did you see that, Red? Uh, that cyclonic energy is powerful enough to twist anything. It serves as an impenetrable shield by flinging back any kind of attack like a boomerang. The ultimate defense like and offense in <laughs> one. It's the dreaded Psy Wave. Uh, any energy directed inward is reflected outward by the rotation of the tornado. This is the manifestation of an extraordinary psychic power. The master of the Psy Wave lurks at the bottom of the twister like an ant lion. There's only one creature in the world with this kind of power. Y you mean? Yes, Gorpheus. I mean M Mewtwo. Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah! It conceals itself defends itself, and strikes back all at the same time. And this is only one of its attacks. Hey, it's d disappearing! I know. It's behind us. Ah, Blaine! Your arm! <laughs> this is why this thing has to be beaten now! That creature... As you know, is the genetic Pokemon I created from a cell of Mew. Uh-huh. Uh what you don't know is that it proved impossible to create an entire creature from the few Mew cells we cultured. So, I added some human cells to the mix. Cells from my own arm. Oh! Alas, a backwash of renegade Mewtwo cells found their way up into my arm. Soon... This arm would be useless, and in the end, Mewtwo's cells would control my entire body, and take my life. Ugh. No, you're kidding! This is like Dumbledore! Ha, <laughs> I wish I were. Anyway, at least those shared cells enable us both to know when the other is close. Call it a resonance effect, or a natural tracking device. For the moment... I'm a living Mewtwo locator, but when I am gone, there will be no hope. Oh. Let Team Rocket call me a traitor. Let them hound me to the ends of the earth. What should I fear now? <laughs> but I do drone on and on, don't I? Uh. Yeah! Beep! What? A fireball wall! Wait. Oh. A fireball wall. You'll be safe inside. I have no right to drag you into this. Don't be stupid! You can't do this alone! Who's stupid? <laughs> Listen, kid. This isn't another one of your fun adventures. If I'm too late, city after city will be destroyed. You'll be a great trainer someday, Red. Someday. Oh. Blaine! No! Next time on Pokemon Adventures, will the only positive male role model in Red's life sacrifice himself? Will Blaine die? Will Mewtwo be named Freak 2 and all he does is Mew? <laughs> Find out all this and more next time. On Pokemon, Pokemon Adventures. Adventures. Chapter 35. <laughs> There's only one way to break through this twister. 
and thus to blast energy equal to the energy creating the storm straight into the very heart of it with... Blaine! My own body. One final blow. 35. And Mewtwo... Three! The twister! It's gone? And the fireball wall! Blaine! Hang in there, Blaine! What about the tornado? In Mewtwo! Blown away? Gone! Then it's done. You could have gotten yourself killed! <laughs> yeah, I guess. Red, do you know what this is? <gasps> it's a Master Ball! There's only one in each game. Yeah, you should have used it! With that thing, you didn't have to risk your life like that. That's what I thought once. But you saw the power of that tornado. Mewtwo's power has grown so great that it's nearly impossible to get close to it now. Yeah, but still... Ha! Red, you haven't changed a bit. Your eyes have the same compassion in them as when I first met you at Team Rocket's headquarters. Hmm? Huh? How do you know I was there? Because I was there, kid. Ha! And the research facility constructed in the basement of the Celadon City Game Center. Oh. I'd already thrown away my position as a gym leader to join Team Rocket, having fallen prey to my scientific curiosity. I had no qualms about using Pokemon, Eevee, Gyarados, as laboratory subjects. But you were different. When you learned that a Mew was to be used in the creation of a man-made Pokemon, you protected that Mew from Jinx. You made an ally of Gyarados, who had lost trust in humans after being used in experiments. Mm. Seeing you treat Pokemon as precious creatures, the love and respect you had for them made me ashamed of what I'd become. I'd set out to create a ferocious beast, and I succeeded, but the beast was me. You're the reason I turned against Team Rocket. You're the source of my strength and courage. Mm. You're the reason there will be no more victims of Mewtwo. Uh, Blaine, uh. D don't leave me now. Ah. No. Ah. It's still alive? Blaine! He's hurt bad. I don't dare move him. I have to find Mewtwo's weak spot. But how? Polyrath! Attack! Polyrath! <laughs> Poly! A spoon? What kind of an attack is that? Careful. That's Mewtwo's battle pattern. Huh? It adapts its power to any situation. For multiple enemies, it channels its energy into a tornado. For a single enemy, he forms that spoon-shaped weapon. Silly looking, perhaps. But actually, the psychic's ultimate weapon. Mewtwo was genetically ener engineered for combat. Nothing in nature can equal it. <laughs> Don't you see, Red? You can't weaken it. You can't catch it in a Pokeball. 
There's nothing to be done but destroy it. Uh, okay then. <laughs> I'm counting on you guys. Girdles. This is crazy, kid. You're only going to make things worse. A group attack will just make the ship back to the tornado. Now you've done it. The wind's rising. There. They're all being blown away. Hmm. Before this twister gets up to full power, I've got to get to the center! Red, that's impossible. I just tried that, didn't you see? Stop! Red! Hmm? Yeah, P Pikachu! Yeah. Ah. Hmm? My lord! Uh. <laughs> yeah! As if it was forming the tornado, you hit it with the ball? Ouch! Red, what? Was that? <laughs> there is no way I could have done that while I was holding the spoon. Well, while it was holding the spoon, I had to launch a group attack to get it to switch to the twister. Oh, hey, here you go, Blaine. Pika. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh, Mewtwo's a pretty scary creature, all right, but it's been held prisoner in a lab its whole life. All it knows about humans is. That were cruel and arrogant. But what if it learns something different? What if it sees that not all humans treat other creatures badly? Find out, Blaine. Teach it. <laughs> hey guys, great job! Hmm. The pain in my arm is subsiding. You too. Does that mean your pain is subsiding? Would you really be willing to start over? Oh, I just remembered something that I haven't thought of in a long while. Something that used to sum up everything I aspired to. The words, Pokemon Trainer. Someone who spends his life with, trusts, and is trusted by his Pokemon. Someone like you, Red. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. You say something, Blaine? Oh, no. I was just thinking it might be fun to have a trainer battle sometime. <laughs> sure thing. I'll take you on any time, when you're all better. Guys? Okay, guys. We're off to Indigo Plateau. Venusaur. Yeah. <laughs> Polly. Next time on Pokemon Adventures. Was that Mew? <gasps> <laughs> What's gonna happen next? Are they gonna blast off again? <laughs> Find out all this and more next time. On Pokemon Adventures. Chapter 36. Dun dun dun. Viridian for- oh my gosh, it's her! The new protagonist, oh Yellow. Oh, is this Yellow? Yeah. Viridian. How old is she? <laughs> like ten. I, I think this. I'm based on how she looks. I'm guessing this is her introduction. Then it's a time skip to when she's the okay. protagonist. Interesting. Viridian Forest. <laughs> oh no. I'm lost. <laughs> uh, ah! Venusaur. Huh. Huh? 36. 
Drat that dratini. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? <sighs> okay, Venusaur. Vine. <sighs> Whip. Soar. <laughs> Phew. You should be more careful out here. Sure you're okay? Uh, yeah, thanks. I think she's asking oh, about being a sword. Is that yours? Uh -huh. Sword. <laughs> Don't let it scare you. Venusaurs as gentle as they come. Wow, you're so lucky. I wish I had a friend like that. You don't have any Pokemon of your own? No. Dunk, dunk. Hmm. Okay, then. Take this Pokeball and throw uh, it at that Radita, the way I just did. Like this? Uh. Boom. Pika! <laughs> I'd like you to meet Pikachu, an electric-type Pokemon. This one's named Pika. Pika. Come on, try giving Pika a command. This attack, for instance. Thunder shock? Yeah. Pika. And hurry. Pika's waiting. Oh, okay. Pikachu, thunder shock. Pika. <laughs> wow. You can tell Pika's happy to be back in its home forest. Okay, we defeated the last one, but this one will just weaken, and then... Now... Now! Throw the Pokeball at it! Did we kill the last one? Yeah. Just fainted. Boom! Ha! <laughs> it's in the ball! You oh. ca- <laughs> You captured it! That means you're responsible for it, and it'll do whatever you say! Oh! Nice to meet you, Ratatata. <laughs> Doesn't matter how big a Pokemon is, the Pokeball will shrink it down, and it'll fit right in your pocket. Uh, uh, what's going on? <laughs> it's okay. Don't be afraid. Something strange is going on, though. Wild Pokemon aren't usually so... savage. Ah! Uh, Run! Uh, Here too? Cover! Shoot! Boom! Uh, phew! <laughs> when things oh, are. What? what? <laughs> when things are coming at you from all directions. The only way to go is up! So, where do you live, kid? V Viridian City? Okay then, Viridian City it is! You know the theme song? Uh, or our, our town tune? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have very good it, history with it. It goes a little something like, Viridian girls were undeniable. Fish we got it on lock. I know the theme, but not really the words. Ugh. Another thing that's weird. That Dratini shouldn't even be in the forest. And why did they all attack at once? What's happening? Viridian City. I guess these are townspeople. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I told you to stay out of the forest. Weird things have been happening in there. Do you know how worried we... Hmm? But what do you mean weird things? Dozens of Pokemon have been appearing all of a sudden, including types we've never seen before. Hmm. What's going on in the Viridian Forest? Hmm? Huh? What's that? Hmm? Ah, a Pokedex! I'm on a quest to fill this Pokédex with information about Pokémon. It's a gift from Professor Oak. Oh, oh it's me. <laughs> you mean the Professor Oak? The famous Pokémon expert of Palantown? <laughs> yep. 
My name's Red. I'm from Palatown too. I'm on my way to Indigo Plateau. I'm looking for other trainers to battle along the way so I can become the ultimate Pokemon Master. Oh, well, I'm sorry to say, this town doesn't have anyone who could give you a decent match. Huh? Why not? The gym's been closed for a long time, and the gym leader disappeared. No one even knows who he really was. They say he was invincible, that no one could defeat him, but now he's gone. Invincible, huh? Hmm. Which way is this gym, huh? Huh? It's across the river, but... Across the river? Got it. Gyarados. Yeah! He's huge! Whoa, it's okay. Don't be scared. <laughs> Listen to me, please. Pokemon can be scary, but they're basically kind, loving creatures. If their owners are bad and train their Pokemon to do bad things, then they'll grow up to be bad too. But if you raise them with kindness and gentleness, then they'll always be your friends. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Good. As long as you remember that, you'll be on the right side. Okay then, let's go. Wait, the bridge is way over. Yeah! Gyarados. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! Return! Gyarados. See you later! Whoa. Wow. Amazing! At the gym. Hmm. Okay. This is the place. Here... Venusaur's vine is perfect for scoping out a place like this. Boom. Venusaur. First. Vena. First, let's take a look around the outside. Venusaur. Zor. Hmm. This is the place where Professor Oak and I look for you. Looks like it's been closed ever since. <laughs> The Invincible Missing Gym Leader. I've got to find out what's going on here. But there aren't any clues to anything. Guess we'd better go inside. Huh? Venusaur? Hey, wait! Vena! Whoa. It's pitch dark. Huh? Someone's there! Huh? Hmm. Viridian Gym Leader. Um. Me? Can't read the name. It's broken off. Me. <laughs> the Knights of Knee? Me. <laughs> but I have a feeling I've seen this face somewhere before. But where? Vena. V Venusaur? What is it? Yeah. Rita. What voice did I give him? <laughs> oh, no, I don't you remember. You came as I expected you would. Welcome to the Viridian City Gym. Uh, who are y you? I waited a long time for you, Red of Palatown. Uh, how does he know my name? You've been saying it everywhere. <laughs> Next time on Pokemon Adventures, who could this Will be? Will the Knights of Knee show up? <laughs> the Knights who say Knee! Will the townspeople know who their gym leader is? <laughs> Will Yellow become a character? <laughs> <gasps> Find out all this and more next time. Pokemon Adventures! Chapter 37! <laughs> be there. <sighs> Or we'll Where's say blue? <laughs> He's waiting at Indigo Plateau. Man! <laughs> Man.
Man. <laughs> what is it with this guy? Uh, look at you. You must be a fairly experienced trainer by now. An expert, even. You've been on this mission to complete Oak's Pokédex for some time now. You must have defeated quite a few gym leaders in the process. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Was your last victory the time you went fossil hunting in Diglett's Cave? No, it was when the Sylph Company headquarters were crumbling. <gasps> it, it can't be. Flashbacks. It can't be. The old man from scene 24? The fossil guy. Well, I'm remem glad you remembered scene 24. <laughs> That's right. When I met you in Pewter City. Uh. I was the Viridian gym leader. <gasps> from now on, you can call me... Giovanni, you've clashed with Team Rocket many times. Now you have the honor of meeting its leader. <gasps> 37. Oh. Golly, Golem. Yeah. So that time before, you were testing me. Something like that. Okay, gotta stay calm. My opponent is the leader of the most evil Pokemon organization in the world. I can't let my guard down for a second. Uh, are we the only two in the gym? Nah, it can't be. He's got to have his underlings hiding somewhere around here. So, do I strike first? Or is that suicide? I see you are wondering how many of your enemies are in the building. You're trying to assess how powerful I am. <sighs> And you're debating whether it would be wise to strike first. Mm. Don't worry. There's no one here but you and me. I have no reason to lie. Mm. Not only that. Boom, 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 boom. Huh? I'm even unarmed. You have me at quite a disadvantage. Heh. <laughs> now, come at me with all you've got. <sighs> You wouldn't be making fun of me, would you? Boom. Polly. Huh? Polly. Huh? What? What? What just happened? It took one second for you to grab your Pokeball. Huh? <sighs> By the time you threw it, another second passed. Three seconds elapsed by the time Polyrath left the ball and began attacking. More than enough time to reach the Pokeballs on the floor and launch a counterattack. For me, at least. Most people seem to think that the mark of good trainers is simply their command of Pokemon. But the trainer's own power, skill, and speed are just as essential. It's a shame, Red. It really is. Yeah. You dissing me? <laughs> Don't misunderstand. Huh? There is nothing shameful about your attack. The shame is that you're not on my side. I could use a trainer with your stubbornness, your explosive energy, your empathy for Pokemon. I've heard about your battles with my captains. At first, I thought nothing of them. But then I kept hearing about the same young man scoring victory after victory. Yeah, you think I'd join you? No, actually, I don't. Your independence and honor are among the traits I admire in you. So, how about a bet? Hmm? As you can see, my Pokemon are on the floor and far from me. It would take six seconds for me to seize one and attack. On the other hand, you have five Pokemon still at your side. Mm. If you can win under these conditions, I won't pressure you. I'll accept your decision. However, if I win, you will spend the rest of your life battling for me at my side. Well, did your silence signify assent? Or are you just afraid? Mm. Afraid? I don't think so. 
I accept your challenge, but only if it's a fair fight. <laughs> That's what I look for in a lieutenant. A fair fight means my best against your best. Hmm. Let's go. Ah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Make a punch. I beat you, Giovanni. Go, Snorlax. Hmm? <laughs> You're fast, all right, Red. <laughs> what a great trainer knows when to let his opponent strike first so as to... Boom. What the... I think that... He uses speed against him. Snore. Uh, no! I think that's you. It's V? Okay. Yeah, because he's like, pay attention, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I beat you with my speed before, now I'll beat you with your own. Pay attention. Learn something. Uh? <laughs> What's your next move, Red? Uh, sh shoot! Don't panic. Think. Golem's like some kind of projectile ball. Golem's bouncing like a pinball, trying to hone in on the spot where my next Pokemon's gonna appear. Okay, then. Heh. <laughs> What if I don't take out another Pokemon? Golem, attack! Golem. Hmm? Go. If I just like keep bouncing, Golem's bound to get sick of searching and head for that hole in the wall. And the second it does, Snorlax! Snor? A hey? Snorlax! But! <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a hard head? Whoa. <laughs> How What's sad. Golem's crumbling. Too bad. <laughs> oh, is that me? I don't know. <laughs> I'll I just guess read so. It. How yeah. sad. Golem's crumbling. Too bad. Huh? It's best attack and ball shattering. D Snorlax, look out for the rock throw. No. And now, explosion. Uh, S Snorlax. Snor. Too late, Red. It's over. Ugh. One move and Beedrill drills you. Ugh. The moment you pick Snorlax, I chose Explosion for my final attack. But Explosion can't be used indoors. Which is why I let the fight move outside. I told you you'd learn from me. Now, don't you think it's about time to give up? Mm. Well, Red? Mm. It's time for you to give up! Next time on Pokemon Adventures. Will Red. Where's Blue? <laughs> will Red be able to win? Nah. <laughs> He'd lose. <laughs> nah, I'd win. Where we learn why Giovanni's nameplate started with knee. <laughs> find yeah. out all this and more next time. On Pokemon Adventure, chapter 38. <laughs> do we have enough time to read that one? Yeah, we can do one more chapter. Here we go. This is it for all the marbles. Yeah! You had a Pokeball under your foot? Aerodactyl! 38. Long live the Nido Queen? This battle's not over yet. Hyper Beam! Aerodactyl! 
Did we do it? Huh? They're gone? No way! Th that hole! Huh? Huh? The earthquake! The gym's gonna collapse! No! P Polly! Hmm? <laughs> Nino King? Th that's what caused this quake? <sighs> I'm impressed, Red. So far I've been using Pokemon outside of my specialty, like Cloyster and Beedrill. But you're actually forcing me to use my best fighters. Mm. <laughs> Aerodactyl! Rhyhorn, Tail Whip! No! That's not how Tail Whip works! So much for your overhead escape. Now it's time to trap the trainer. Right on, Fisher! Yeah! <sighs> wow, surprise that hit. Destroy the opponent's footing. A good trick to remember. Mm. Yeah. You fought against quite a few gym leaders, each with their own specialty. The Electric Lieutenant Surge. The Poisonous Koga. The Psychic Sabrina. And now me, the Master of Ground Pokemon. Dugtrio. Rhydon. Rhyhorn. Nidoqueen. Nidoking. The gems of the Viridian City Gym. You know my prowess, don't you? Giovanni, the missing gym leader, said to be the greatest of them all. And me, without my Pokeballs, all lost in the rubble. Hmm? It's crumbling! Go! What? Duck Trio! My attack shuttered the opening mechanism of your Pokeballs. Your Pokemon cannot be released. <sighs> no. You've all well, Red. You traveled throughout this land and survived challenges that no one imagined you could. But you never realized that every place you visited and fought was already under my control. To you, they seem to be con unconnected incidents, but all of your battles were pieces of one great plan. All the Pokemon we collected for experimental purposes were brought to Celadon City Labs for bio-modification, then put through battle training in the neighboring town of Saffron City. Next, they were taken to Viridian City via Cinnabar Island, then on to Vermilion City to be a Put aboard the SS Anne. Transfer had to be accomplished by sea because the northern highways were being watched by the good gym leaders of those cities. And finally, they were brought to the breeding ground where these experimental animals regained their primal savage powers. Here, in the vast depths of the Viridian Forest. After all, with the Viridian gym leader missing, no trainers ever came here looking for a battle. So I've had all the privacy I needed to develop an unstoppable army of Pokemon. I'm the only one who knows about his evil plan. And now, I'm the only one who can stop him. I can't afford to lose. Pikachu! Good timing! Good going! Let's do it! Giovanni! This isn't just a battle against a gym leader anymore. This is a battle to stop Team Rocket. And I'm going to win. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit since the last time I saw you, Red. <laughs> Let me tell you how this will end. Your last Pokemon is Pikachu. Its greatest weapon, Thunderbolt. It'll take one second for the Pokemon to open and for Pikachu to emerge. 
two seconds to charge enough energy for the Thunderbolt. Then another two seconds for the attack to reach me. By the time those five seconds have elapsed, Nidoqueen will have pierced you with its poison sting. Nidoqueen, attack! Got all the answers, do you? Five. Four. No, that's impossible. Three. Three. Two. Thunderbolt! Achoo! Why is it effective? <laughs> if Pikachu doesn't have time to charge up after I open the Pokeball, then it'll just have to charge up inside the Pokeball. No. No one can hold a Pokeball laced with thousands of volts of electricity. Hmm. <gasps> that glove! It's Team Rockets! I c can't believe that my downfall was one of my own weapons. Nope. Your downfall. Yeah. Was the suffering of the Pokemon you tried to corrupt for your evil purposes. Ugh. Huh? Where uh, am I? Uh, you're alive! Me! You fainted at the edge of the forest. I was afraid. Huh? The forest? What about all the Pokemon? The ones that were acting strange? <laughs> We finally got up the nerve to do something. Everyone's going into the forest now to calm down the Pokemon that were acting up. <sighs> All right. <laughs> but something tells me they'll need my help. Um. What? Our gym. They say it got destroyed in some huge battle. And, well, see... Nobody around here is very good with Pokemon, so we were thinking it might be nice to have someone around to, you know, teach us. You mean, me? Uh-huh. <laughs> it would... Oh, wait, that's not me. <laughs> well, it would be an honor. After I've achieved enough to be a true gym leader, when I come back, I'll be the best gym leader ever. Wait for me. Next time on Pokemon Adventures. Will red Will red meet blue? <laughs> <gasps> Will blue show up finally at the Indigo Plateau? Is Giovanni like dead? <laughs> Find out all this Find and out more. All this and more. <laughs> Next time on Pokemon Adventures. Chapter. 39. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to it. This is really yes. the end. Unless mm -hmm. I put the videos together. Which... Wait, wait. We can do the last. There you looked it up. There's only two chapters left. <laughs> oh, okay. Well then, surprise audience. We, you get, we get to finish this. And Blue, wow. Blue probably gets to show up again. Blue. Why is that guy wearing sunglasses? <laughs> that, that's the that's like the fire master Pokemon trainer type. It's like the weirdest one. Single line, please. Form a single line. It's him, the fan club guy. <gasps> oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> what was his voice? Funny Excuse old man. Excuse <laughs> me. Hey, no cutting old man. Oh. <laughs> Rude. Is that how you treat your elders? Elder abuse is cool. Eh? <laughs> Ooh, now isn't this something? Where's the owner of this Pokemon? The Pokemon Lovers Club will declare you an honorary member on the spot. Please give that back. It's mine. Ooh. Ah, ah. Wait, who is this? 
Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Kind the G of... Lover 258. <laughs> One to enter. Yes, sir. Excellent. All three are here. Hooray! The Pokemon League! 39. Just a Sparrow Carrier. Kabutops. Double Team! Polly. Gotcha! Polly. Block. Boom. <laughs> All right, I'm in the semifinals. There he is. <laughs> you ever see a battle that intense before? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> you. Winner of the D group, Blue. Hmm? I don't suppose I need to tell you, Red, that in the history of the Pokemon League, every single winner of the championships has been a trainer from Pallet Town. Yeah? That confirms the fan theory Professor Oak is a champion? <laughs> the question this year is which one it'll be. Yeah, you or me? <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to battling you in the final round. Ah, just like what Sasuke said to Naruto. I guess Laurel, if you want to be the announcer. Is this Sasu Naru in another dimension? <laughs> Group winners, please proceed to the arena. Okay, let's go. Huh? Oh my! There you are, my little Nito. Ooh, and look who found a boyfriend! What the? <laughs> Our Pokemon like each other, so we should do. How about a Pokemon trade to seal the deal, hmm? Like, my Weedle for your big, strong Butterfree. What? That dude's smoking. She can't go out with him. You still up to your tricks, I see. I mean, hi, Red. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? What are you doing in? Me? Huh? <laughs> Weren't those preliminaries a breeze? You're gonna be in the semifinals? Well, see you in the arena. I don't plan on losing, because I'm a trainer from Pallet Town too, you know. Huh? What? You're a... You're... Duh. It's in the name. Duh. Hey, get back here. What'd you say? Congrats on them prelims there, feller. Huh? The final four. You hey. You see the matchups yet? Uh, Bill! That's right, I'm here too, baby. <laughs> you mean... It's me and Blue in the first round? I thought they'd say that for last. At the final stage arena. <sighs> Aw, heck, Red. You know, I was figuring on coming up against that old rival of yours on the final, but real life don't follow a script. Yeah. Hey, this B winner, Dr. O... Scary looking fella, ain't he? Oh my god, it was <laughs> Professor Oak! <laughs> and weird! <laughs> oh my god, he. It, finally, it's confirmed he's a champion. <laughs> Let the match begin! <laughs> Sparrow! Hey, that girl! She's bringing out a Jigglypuff in a match like this? Uh, she wouldn't lead with a cute Pokemon unless it's part of her strategy. Probably to get her opponent to let down his guard. But, what's with that guy's Sparrow? 
Hmm. <laughs> a silly old spear on the Pokemon League semifinals? You think I was some kind of pushover, just because I'm a cute little girl? Hmm. Well, let's find out, shall we? Attack! <laughs> I won all my prelims with a single shot! Hmm. Fury attack! No fear! Jigglypuff, sing! Song of a piano man A million city girls were undeniable So sleepy Who's not playing fair? You guys like this song? Why is your friend over there not falling asleep? I don't know, he's weird. The song isn't reaching the Spearow. Jigglypuff doesn't have the speed to fight flying-type Pokémon. You take that and that! Idiot! What are you doing? Switch to an aerial battle! Anyone knows that. <laughs> Come on, hurry! I can't. What? I can't! I don't have any flying type Pokemon, okay? What? I think you may be the one who underestimated your opponent, little girl. Boom, boom. They're all flying type Pokemon. You must know Green's weakness. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you. Stealing is wrong. <gasps> Who is this guy? Heh. Yeah. An opening! Disable! Uh. Well, if an aerial battle's my only choice, Blastoise, now! Boom. Huh? Hydro Pump! Blastoise! Just because I don't have any flying type Pokemon doesn't mean I can't get into the air. May not be what you define as aerial, but it works for me. Blastoise. Oh, and while we're at it, let's see what you look like, shall we? An aerial hydro pump. You saw it here first. <laughs> Using Blastoise as a jetpack. Genius! Oh. The mask! Oh wait, you can do that. The mask! It's slipping off his face! <laughs> <laughs> you know how a parrot bounces your words back at you? Huh? Well, my Spiro can't do that with words, but... <laughs> Mirror move! <sighs> He's reflecting! The Spearow's making an energy reflector field! <laughs> Eep! Ah, it's health levels! Uh-huh. Ow! <laughs> no! D don't come near me! What's wrong with her? What's wrong, Green? A phobia of flying-type Pokémon? <laughs> six years. Six years ago, a little girl of five was inducted by a large legendary bird Pokémon. Oh, oh. At the time, I had a grandson of the same age, so I felt compelled to get involved. I was deeply involved with the investigation. I could never forget her face. I imagine my surprise when my security cameras caught the very same girl stealing my Squirtle. <gasps> hey! This Dr. O guy! Uh, that's... That's... 
<gasps> it's no surprise that a trauma like that would leave you terribly, terribly afraid of birds, Green. Professor Oak! Get away! The last choice! Wonder Gun! Here I move! <laughs> Last <laughs> The winner, Dr. O. Yeah! yeah. I, uh. I lost? Now, young lady, you owe me an explanation. You didn't have to steal Pokemon. Why did you do it? So, the Squirtle Thief was you. Wasn't fair. I grew up in a place I didn't know, with no family. All I remembered was that I came from somewhere called Pallet Town. Then one day I found out that two boys my age from Pallet Town got a Pokemon and Pokédex from Professor Oak and started the, their training journeys. But I uh, was from Pallet Town too. I wanted to do what they were doing. I wanted to get a Pokemon from you, and a Pokédex to take up my training journey. Wow, wasn't expecting a tragic backstory right now. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Green, do you remember what I just said? Stealing is wrong. Promise me that you understand that now. Oh! Here, the third Pokédex. Now, you too are a trainer from Palatown. I... I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> uh, I get it. I, I can relate to being switched by a legendary bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, when you were a rat. In the player locker room. Ooh, what a workout. Haven't sweated like that in a while. Grandfather. If you're the winner of the first match, that means that whoever wins the match between Red and me has to fight you. No, I've already won myself a championship. I don't need this. I'm bowing out. You two are on your own. In the finals. Ugh. Your attention, please. We have been informed that the winner of the first semi-finals match, Dr. O, has withdrawn from the competition. Since tournament rules prohibit the loser of the semi-final from continuing, the scheduled second semi-final is now the semi-final match. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that I won my match, but I guess I didn't. I guess you lost to Dr. O. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> Bummer. <sighs> Next time on Pokemon Adventures, who will, will Red and Blue win? Who knows? <laughs> or will they both lose? Is it gonna be like the game where the protagonist always wins? Find out all this and more next next time on Pokemon Adventures, Chapter Forty. The thrilling conclusion. Huh. Oh my god. Volume gosh. Three. After all these years, we're finally here. <laughs> the Insanely popular, super fun game. The ads, Tap to bounce. The ads are getting no. more egregious. <laughs> Ready to burst. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Contestants will enter the arena to Yay. determine the champion of the Indigo Plateau Pokemon League. Hmm. Red versus blue. <laughs> 40. A Charizard and a champion. They're opposed. They're choosing their Pokeballs. I can't stand the suspense. What are they gonna open with? Final match. Ready? When the Pokeballs hit the ground. Fight! <laughs> Hmm. Venusaur! Charizard. Char. Grass versus fire! 
Pang. The look. Dang it. <laughs> Grass. I take it you were betting I'd lead with the water type Pokemon. Well, Red, when you bet, sometimes you lose. Fire spin. You won't slip out of this. Sure. Mine! Venusaur! Jar? Charmander. Uh, po poison powder? Careful, Blue. Don't get cocky. Now while it's wobbly, Venusaur! Razor Leaf! That's not even super effective, what? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your guard down, Red! Let your guard down, Red. <laughs> no way! Go! Boom! Snorlax! Snor. Mega Pun! Jar? Oh, no, you don't! Boom! <laughs> what? Legs are free! Mega Kick! <laughs> what the? Four arms? My chomp! I mean, snore. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. <laughs> Let's skip the trick cheap. Let's skip the cheap tricks, shall we? See if you can take me head on! Hmm. Oh, chomp. Has this championship ever seen a wrestling match like this? Uh. Oh no. It's supposed to be the Snorlax to greater strength and it's getting bait! <laughs> oh, it, it's lifting that huge! Oh, Snorlax! Snorlax! No use struggling. Machamp's forearms can block its opponent's punches and kicks simultaneously. <sighs> now, add a little rotation. Whoa! And you're helpless. Machamp! <laughs> a full of flying! Amazing power! Has Red got a chance in heck? Slam! Door. Ack! Snore! Oh, Trump. It broke the arena floor. If I recall correctly, Red, Machamp evolved under your care. I'm glad to have this opportunity to show my appreciation. Err. Well, I suppose it's time for the final blow. Don't let it end, Red. Come on now. Mm hmm. <laughs> I know that look of this. That boy's thought of something. <laughs> Snore. Yeah, he's got Snorlax using Harden and playing possum for that dumb old blue. Machamp, attack! Wah. Karate chop! His final move! That's it, smarty pants! And a boy blue, ain't caught on yet! When that fist hits your rock hard Snorlax, there's gonna be one less on to worry about. Now, Red, do you honestly think I didn't anticipate? Hmm? You using... such an obvious trick? Stoom. Huh? Hmm. No!
I think that's Bill. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Lou read him like a book. He he weren't weren't aiming at Snorlax. He was aiming at the floor. As the Greek said, give me a long enough lever. No. And I can Oh wait. And I can move the earth. The Greek or canon confirmed. <laughs> My grandson is growing up. When he started out, he was too arrogant, too impressed with his own ideas. He couldn't let go of his preconceived strategy. He's learned to adapt to surprises, just by himself. He's getting to be more like... Red. I'm not the same trainer you be before, my friend. Hmm. Oh my god, they're friends, it's canon. Never mind. Red Snorlax has been flung out of the arena. What a brilliant reversal by Blue. Hmm. Snorlax out of bounds. According to the rules, any Pokemon that touches the ground outside of the arena will be ineligible to... Huh? What's that noise? Huh? Snore. <laughs> Way to go! Rotom! Double edge! The Snorlax would never touch the ground. It's hitting it from the air. <laughs> I guess you don't know how maneuverable a Snorlax can be, Blue. Maybe you should have done your homework. Hmm, so my grandson isn't the only one who's growing up. Red's learning how to keep his cool, and how to shore up his instinctual approach with his knowledge, just like Blue. Haha, <laughs> great job, Snorlax! Plain old, Snor. <laughs> plain old kicks and punches couldn't beat those forearms, but nobody was expecting an aerial attack from you! Hmm, my champ. Hmm. There is a toxic attack in there. Your health levels dropped to a third. I don't need to look at my Pokédex to see what, your con what condition you're in. You give it your best. Now, return to your Pokéball. Huh? Hmm. Is this the same guy who didn't even notice when a baby Kangaskhan was sick? Now, it's time to finish this. Boom. Nine Tails from Naruto. Oh, oh my God! It's that guy. <laughs> Nine Tails, the one we fought over before. All right, let's see what Snorlax can do against. Snor. Oops! Uh. Cancel that. You've been through enough, poor guy. You're not full power anymore, are you? Snore. Somebody told me once that you've got to know your limits. And someone told me there's no satisfaction in beating a weak opponent. Pick your next Pokemon, Red. Oh, these boys have learned more than battle strategy from each other. They've incorporated the best traits of the other into themselves. And they know each other like the back of their own hands. Oh, this match is as tight as they come. One move could trip the balance. Mm, could be my last chance. The time is now. Hmm. One elegant move could win this thing. And, all, and one dumb little mistake could blow it. Blue's gonna go on with nine tails. What'd you answer with red? Hmm. It's Pikachu! <laughs> red! 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 Blue! Blue! Who do you like best, Bruno? Uh. I say to summon one. Look! <laughs> the cheerful one's about to make his choice. Hmm. Hmm. What's he waiting for? Ninetales! 
Hmm. He knows I'm going with a flame attack. He's got four Pokemon left. He's bound to go with a big one. Probably Gyarados or Aerodactyl. Well, if he won't attack, I will. Huh? <laughs> Polyrath, attack! Ball, ball. That little thing? So you think a small target is a safer choice? Well, with this attack, size isn't the issue. Fire Blast! Huh? This not only prevents the trainer himself from moving, but flings his Pokemon up in a blast of heat. Polyrath! How did you lose to a fire type? The blast sends Polyrath's water spraying wildly. And the Polyrath slams into the ceiling. Boy. Another physics lesson read. Heat rises, which shuts down any aerial attack. Yeah. Pikachu! Pika! It'll be the same, Red, no matter what you try. Pika! <laughs> Pika! <laughs> Polly! Good job, Ninetales. Return. And now, to keep the flame attack going, Charizard! Sure. Blue follows fire with fire. He's gone back to his original Pokemon. What now, Red? Okay. If you're going back to Charizard... Boom! Venusaur again? You're gonna be kidding! Hmm. Ah. It's as if Red is mocking Blue's second use of Charizard, but his first use of Venusaur was a disaster. What is he thinking? He's surrounded by fire. And what's the dummy do? He throws a grass at it? This is the- this time the deck folded it on purpose. Ah, I get it, Red. You want us both to finish the match with the Pokemon my grandfather originally gave us. That is so very, very you. Choosing sentiment over victory. Charizard! Venusaur! Charizard! <laughs> Do you actually believe you can tie up a Charizard? You know that won't. Huh? Hey, what's that rain cloud doing inside? That's not any old rain cloud. That blue is a thundercloud. You didn't think I was dumb enough to use a vine against a Charizard, did you? The superheated water droplets from Polyrath condensed into a cloud. Bully. That's Pika. That's been charged with lightning by Pikachu's electric energy. And when that energy builds up enough to strike. <laughs> It'll strike that vine! It's a lightning rod! Charizard, blast it away! These three Pokemon and I have been through a lot together! We know each other! Pulley! Pika! Venusaur! But you don't really understand friendship! <gasps> the fog's lifting! That's. That's... And the winner is... Blue... <sighs> Joy... <gasps> the guest! <gasps> no! The champion of the Pokemon League... Is Red! <laughs> We did it! We got! <laughs> After everything we've been through together, we did it! Uh, together! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please remain seated for the award ceremony! Hmm. Hello, this is Green. You know, the trainer who snagged third place in the Indica Plateau Pokemon League. <laughs> now about that endorsement deal. 
Huh? Hey, where do you get off calling yourself? Silly boy. Professor Oathbury withdrew, so I'm in the record books with the third best score, aren't I? Hmm. <laughs> She's got us there. Come on, I can't start without you guys. Hurry up! <laughs> we hear you. She's so obnoxious. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mew. 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 Now, let's go home to Pallet Town. To be continued Yay! in the next volume. Ooh, Ooh and we that's. Did it. We did it. That's the original art from, like, the strategy guide with redrawn. That's cool. Coming soon in Volume 4. Yay! It's been two years since the Pokemon League Championship. Battle between Red and Blue. New friends and new enemies await. <laughs> A brand new adventure. Poke Pokemon Adventures Volume 4. Meet new friends. Jump into Jump the adventure. Into the adventure. <laughs> like that they tease the Elite Four. Woo. And that's so that's it for the original adventure. Now it's gonna time skip. That's pretty cool. Yay! <laughs> that ad at the bottom. Yay! Woohoo! Well, that's it for now, audience. Hope you enjoyed our fan dub of the first arc of the Pokemon manga. Pokemon Adventures. Pokemoning all night. Chapters Yay! 1 to 40. <laughs> Woo. Now to put them all in one big video. The complete series. No oh boy. <laughs> Look forward to it. Bye, audience. Pokemoning all night. <laughs>